All right, everyone, I'm back, and I've got my four pocket pages. They all have a pocket, front and back. I'm gonna get started with page one. Page one. So I'm using this anchor. I really think this is cute. It's very cheerful. It's gonna look, oh, I haven't inked anything. Ugh. I hate to do that while you guys are watching. It's so boring. So I'm gonna ink everything. as quickly as I can. Okay, again, we're on page one. Seaside Escape. Mente's, uh, one of Mente's latest releases. I think it's really pretty. It's a great summer collection. So the way I'm gonna do all the pages that's gonna be uniform is I'm taking an image and I'm splitting it at the pocket. Um, and then when the pocket is empty, you have a complete image. Some of them, some of the images are a little more distinct than others, like this one's quite distinct. Now, I don't have anything ready for this, but each one's gonna have a pocket. Uh, I mean, a tag in its pocket. That's page one. Here's page two, and I'm gonna pull in page three as well. And I'm gonna show you why. So, this is from a 12 by 12 sheet, and this is actually a continuous pattern. So page two and three are going to be the six, six inches from the bottom and 12 inches across to create a large um, dual spread layout. This paper is very nice. It's very thick, it reminds me of um, uh, the weight and texture of um, blue fern, which I really like. It feels very good. Graphic 45 feels a little bit, a little bit, not quite as stiff. So as you can see, this is going to go quickly. What's going to take the longest is uh, the tags because I have to run the paper through a die which is the graphic, graphic 45 die for the square tags. And if you did you and me and used the sort of ornamental circle around the clock, that's the same die set. So if you have that die set, then you have what you need for this. Oh, there, and you can see the very tip of the boat over here. There is page two and three. And again, we'll have um, inserts in both, okay? This is going to be four and five. And I'm gonna use this really bold print for page four and five.
and I'm doing something wrong because this should be a half circle. Something's not looking quite right. Let me get an ink and figure it out. I may have turned one of the prints on the wrong axis. That doesn't look right either because it goes this way. Hmm. And this one, oh, that's wrong. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna get it figured out. So these are both going away from each other. And this one. This one's curving in, so I'm missing. Something's not quite right. I messed something up. Let's see if I've got. There it is. That's it. Here's the second half of that. Dun 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 dun. dun. Okay. All right. Again, we're on page 45. This is a perfect beginner's album. It's a great little brag book that you can put together very quickly after a summer trip and have uh, some memories that you can get to quickly and share. Okay, that's page four, five. Page six, seven. I've messed up my paper so much I don't know where I'm going anymore. Here it is, six. Nope, it doesn't look right. half of my there it is lighthouse okay 
is that right? That doesn't look right, does it? What's missing down here? It is this. So this is what we have, and we're doing it backwards. That's part of my problem. It goes this way and this way. And I'm looking. There we go. Okay, page six, seven. Let's ink it, lay it down. I just love this. It's going together so quickly, it's fun. Pretty, pretty. Last page, page eight. And I think this is page eight. Yes, it is. Which is the second half of this one. But because of the way the pattern fell, it did, you didn't feel like you needed to continue it. So that's why I separated them on page one and page eight. to be it's too wide shoot I hate it when that happens I need to trim this down so is that true yep let that dry but while it's drying let's go ahead and install our pages into our book which is right here so here we go that's upside down that should be right side up and it is so let's go ahead and install our pages so that's page eight there's page one
you could probably build this uh, in about two hours. Um, that's the base and decorating and everything. Mm, maybe a little longer just because the running things through the die cutter takes a little bit of time. It's not hard, it just takes time. I need to take just a sliver off this side. I'm gonna do that real quick with a straight edge. I don't know where my ruler is right now. Hmm. Here it is, buried. it was wet. Okay, that should be just about right, is it? Nope, a little more. I want it to fit inside the pocket and that's what I'm working on. So we need to do the spine and then we need to decorate everything that's going to go in these pockets. But for now, I'm going to set this aside and then I'm going to start cutting out papers that will fit on here and I'm going to do that offline. So I'm going to run um, paper through uh, eight times, make my eight tags, and then we'll get back together, decorate the tags and I have some charms to add to the tags too. So we'll take a look at that as well. Be back soon. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I did a couple of things while I was away. One of them was add these two charms, which are gonna go on the spine, and I attached them with this um, brad slash jump ring. So it's gonna go right here. done. So the other thing I did while I was away is I went ahead and covered all of the tags and I just used the alternating pattern of the blue stripes and the brown stripes. Um, I don't have anything on the back side and that's pretty much all the paper I have. Let me see, could I manage? Nope, these aren't quite four inches wide. So you can cover one side but not two if you buy the single pack. The other thing I did while I was away is I used my sticker sheet 
and there's a ton of them, and added um, little interesting bits to each one of the pages and each one of the tags. So sky above, sand below, seaside, little tag here, here. I might add something here. Here, here, a little here. There we go. And that is it. So that's our beautiful little six and a quarter by six and a quarter by two and a half inch mini album. I hope you guys enjoy it.